A classic Broadway favorite is coming to Charleston audiences. The College of Charleston's Department of Theater and Dance is setting their own production of the multi-Tony award-winning musical Cabaret. And joining us with more is Todd McNerney. He is the musical's director. He is also associate dean and professor of theater at CFC's School of the Arts. Great to have you. Great to be here. Why did you decide on Cabaret? Uh, well, you know, I think um, we plan our productions well over a year in advance. Uh, so I think originally the intent was, you know, there's a lot of interesting corollaries between the start of this century and the start of the last century. Um, and there were, so there are a lot of themes within the play mm -hmm. that make complete sense for us to maybe be paying attention to again. I was going to say, so let's talk about the plot, shall we? Right. Because I think it's quite relevant today. Right. You didn't know this a year ago. Oh, well, exactly. There are elements <laughs> of, of things that we didn't know. Now, of course, coming uh, out of a pandemic, that was something that was happening in the 1920s uh, uh, or late 19 teens as well. But specifically, this play is set uh, in Germany, um, in Berlin, right before the rise of the Nazi party into uh, controlling German mm -hmm. politics and the German government. Mm -hmm. So it's just prior to the start of uh, World War II. So it's sort of smack in the dip middle of the two wars. Right. Um, and then centrally to it are some elements of um, bigotry, and hate mm -hmm. uh, and racism. Yeah, uh, Cabaret though, um, the, the show itself, as the name would suggest, there's a lot of lively performances too, so. A absolutely, yeah, it's, um, uh, the entire play is set in a nightclub. Um, most people are familiar with the play through the movie. So, you know, the ma vast majority of us really recognize the signature song that uh, Liza Minnelli That's right. won her Academy Award for. Indeed she did, indeed she did. It's a great song. Um, but like you were saying, there are parallels. There's relevance of that story today, what, ha what is happening in Ukraine. Right. And so what do you hope that audiences take away from this experience, from this performance? The, the things I hope they take away, in addition to being well entertained, are at least some thoughts about how uh, inaction, can lead to um, consequences that are that we would never expect. To your earlier point, a year ago, no one would have thought the world events would be where they are today. That's right. Yeah, plain and simple. And also, let's give credit to your students. They worked very long, hard hours they to do. make this possible. Yeah. Three months to uh, get this from the classroom to the stage. Sort of. Uh, in some respects. There are some students who began working on it longer ago than that. Wow. So we pick our seasons about a year in advance. There are, uh, th in this particular production, there is a student costume designer. She began her work but with all of the other designers uh, last summer. Mm -hmm. And then all through last fall, we had multiple meetings, m multiple months of work. Yeah. The actors, the singers and dancers, all start typically uh, about three months out. And those students, they go off to where, usually? Well, uh, a number of them go off in any, any number of directions. We've had multiple students be successful New York actors, perform on Broadway multiple times. Uh, we've had a number of students go the other coast and end up in television and film, um, either as performers or as writers. And equally, because the College of Charleston is a, a fine institution grounded in its liberal arts traditions, we, there are a number of our students who ended up lawyers. Yeah, I was know, just going to say, you could even be a lawyer. Exactly. I mean, there's an element of acting exactly. to getting up in front of a courtroom, isn't there? Exactly. Well, I want to thank you so much. You know, we didn't get to uh, Spoleto, but your students, you also have involvement in Spoleto, so we're going to be looking forward to seeing what comes up later this summer. That'll be and exciting. And we're going to give our uh, audience all that information on when and where you can see Cabaret. Congratulations on this. One of some 200 uh, yeah. different performances <laughs> that you put on every year. Exactly. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you, Layla. We're back after this.